He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee Wee. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more. Some more, rather. Skyrim Hardcore Survival and... Boy, uh, Jackpot. Wow. Made out, like a, made out like a bandit in Gallows Hall. Um, some of the most significant things I found were uh, some void salts. That is huge. We can use that. Two void salts. There's actually two void salts in here. So now we can make another batch of telekinesis arrows. This is huge. Huge. And of course the staff of worms. We can use that to raise any dead body we like. Um, lots of luscious loot to sell off. Uh, let's get to Windhelm and take care of business. Let's get the merchant prick. Like I said. We could buy some skill training off Sadri in Windhelm. If we can just do a little caper for him. This will require sneaking around through Windhelm and getting past all the guards there. But once we do that, we'll be able to buy some skill training off Sadri and um, should be able to get speech up to 50 and get the merchant perk at which point we'll be able to sell any kind of item to any kind of merchant, which will open the game right up. Let's go do that right now. We're right in the vicinity. <laughs> all right. Mastering Skyrim Hardcore Survival. What's this? This is a box. Okay. We could just go up here, find this road, and go along here. There, there would be some wolves here, but I'm just going to ignore them, run past them. Park my horse at the stables, and run in, or rather sneak into Windhelm. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Let's amend that plane. I thought this was going to take us over here. This is even better. Hang on, one second. I gotta clean my glasses. Okay, I'm good. Right? Didn't even have to deal with the wolves. Alright, you stay right here, Dagger. We're sneaking into Windhelm. Make sure I got my shredded boots on. Indeed, I do. Okay, you can get down this area here easily by taking the tunnel. It's a lot better. Down here, in here, up here like this, hook her down. Let's put away the bow. Stop here. Bring up the bow again. Up we go. Check the guard's position. He's there. Okay, this should be a clean entry. We're gonna go up against the door, crouch, put away the bow, go in, crouch, put away the bow. I'm gonna pull back, take up the bow. There you go, okay. Um, one book that I forgot, actually, I it's not that I forgot it. In the beginning, I was working off uh, partly off my own list and partly off a, a list on a Reddit post about how to start a lot of the alternative armor quests. And all they said was the book was in Candle Hearth Hall somewhere. And I was so accustomed at that point to looking in rooms to find books that it never occurred to me that the book was right here on the table Thank in the hallway. You. So pick up this book while you're here. I'm and that'll start 
the Tilted Scales quest, and I was just right at the limit of my carry weight, so picking up that book overloaded me. Um, <laughs> uh, can I eat some food? Eat some heavy food. Where's that horker stew? Did I do it? There we go. Okay. I didn't really need it, but, um, right. I made Got my some fresh baked bread. That's nice. Yours like to rent a room, please? It's yours for a day. Okay, and we have to rent a room Show and get to room. business hours. Right this way. Enjoy your stay. This one's and a don't favorite break of mine. Nothing. Legend. Yeah, I could have just dropped that torker stew and, and eaten it in the morning. Unfortunately, didn't think of that. Okay, we are well rested and. Satisfied. Trying to get well fed. Well fed. Atta boy. Okay, here we go. Let's go talk to Sadri. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Power of it. Out, pull back, take out the bow. I'm gonna sneak over to the east side of Windhelm. Doing our best to avoid any guards. There's a guard right there. We have enough gas in the tank to get to Sadri's. Ah, uh, shit. He's like looking right at me. See, that's a situation where he would see you going into Sadri's. He's looking right at me. This is fucked up. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Come on, patrol away. There you go, he patrolled away. Yeah, when they're looking right at you when you go through a door, you, you typically get busted. I trust you aren't considering any thievery. No, no, not at all. Just coming over here and warming up myself by your cooking pot and waiting to see if any guards followed me in, and they did not, okay? Let's do business. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Nothing in here is stolen? Nothing at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. I could return that ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Okay. Don't We're let on Viola it. catch you in her house. Okay, stop talking now so we can leave in peace. Have a look around. I buy and sell just about Stop anything. talking. Attaboy. Okay, here we go. It's on. Okay, let's go. Typically, there's not enough time to get all the way across town. Of course, um, usually you like to stop right here, hunker down, reload my invisibility. Let's, let's go to Kanto Hearth Hall. Okay, 
okay? Do not, whatever you do, go down this alleyway because what's going to happen is the guard's going to stop you and ask you if you know anything about the murder, after which he'll instantly go hostile on you. So you go this way for sure. So we're down here. Now, in front of Giola, Viola Giordano's place, there's always a guard patrolling, gotta be careful of that. There he is right there. Okay, so if this happens, what you wanna do is you wanna tuck yourself in this corner here, wait till he passes. Okay, now let's go for the luck. It's an expert luck. I should have sold himself stuff to empty out the inventory a little bit. Here's the dresser that we have to put the ring in. Mission accomplished. That's it. We can take some stuff. Um, let's go take the potions upstairs. that guy. That guy. The money. Still got four pounds. I'd say take the rock warbler eggs. The salt pile. Ski retail and the Nordic Barnacle. We can come back here and get a lot of stuff after we sell off at the Sadries. Okay, let's go. Who's that? Okay, let's go. I wasn't doing walkthroughs for YouTube, this would be the way I would play Skyrim henceforth. This has ruined me for normal Skyrim. This is such a panic. No kid, don't, don't, the fuck, give me a Jeez. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, dude. That's the worst thing when NPCs grab you right in front of a guard. Gotta kill that kid for now. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna kill a kid. Take away, take away our allowance, something, anything. So. Okay. Don't pause there. I wonder if you could pickpocket the kid. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's wandered back. Come on, off you go, guard. Okay, what you got, kid? Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. Yes? Yeah. Not much, but I hope you like them. Take everything. There you go. Happy? There you Thanks. Go. Thanks for talking to me. Whew. 
have you taken care of that little problem? I did indeed. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Ha, ah, made it. Okay. Now. Do come again. Good to see you. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Start by selling them um, pretty much the heaviest stuff. Um, so definitely keeping this. We can't wear this. The only thing we do is display it at home and it's worth more as money, so let's sell on that. There we go. And let's start buying some uh, speech skill training, which we can now do because we did him that favor. With the Thief Stone and the Well Rested Bonus, very time. good. All my goods are. Well, you've come to the right place. Okay, ran out of money, just sell him something else to get I like some to more money. I'd share my good fortune with those who did. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. We can use that to make a shrine. Um, definitely that. And this. This heavy stuff here. Here's some more heavy stuff. We'll sell them that next. Keep that, that might be useful. Trader dropped by recently with some lovely pieces. It well, you've come to the right place. Hmm. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. We can't wear these and wouldn't want to anyways. You can have this. This is interesting. Um Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely this. And that's it. Are we down to the potions already? All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. We are just short of leveling up. I believe I have the muffle spell. Oh yeah, and I picked up these two in um, Gallows Hall. Yep, indeed I do. That should level us up. There we go, and... Boya! Yeah. Now we can't level up until we sleep somewhere. Conveniently enough. Since we did Sadri a favor, we could sleep right here. So, let's sleep. And points into Magicka again. Save that perk point. Let's buy some more speed skill training. I like to share my good for Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. If we just sell him one little thing, well, he has no money. Um, take a look. Do you have anything that we might want to buy? For example, fire arrows. Yes, I want 20 fire arrows. That did not level up. Okay. Um, these are interesting. Um, but whatever. Void salts. 
312 bucks. Okay, sorry. Trader dropped by recently with some lovely. Well, you've come to the right place. I thought he could level up speech. Uh, just buying something, but at any rate, we'll sell him something back, and this we'll certainly level up speech. Got all day. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. We're down to the potions. There we go. Hmm. Save the amethysts. We can use these to make void salts. Something I never knew before. So save those. Um, everything else we're keeping. Mm -hmm. Need something? Well, you've come to the right place. That's it. Oh, this is so perfect. We're at 49. Make it quick. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. The thing about Sadri also is, um, even if you leave his area, he hangs on to the gold that you spent on him. It's not like other merchants where you leave their area and all of a sudden, you know, if they have a huge pile of gold that you spent on skill training, it all of a sudden disappears from their inventory. So this is not a big deal. Let me just offload some of these junk potions to uh, lighten the load. I didn't even know I had that. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to attempt to sneak into the alchemist uh, shop. Until next time. This might not be necessary. At any rate, he has a skill book here. That'll bring us up to 50. Read it, don't steal it. At this point, we can get the merchant perk. It's a done deal. We can sell any kind of item to any kind of merchant. What a relief. And let's take some of the stuff here that we can take because we're friends with him. I'm not sure how much point there is in taking his uh, potions, stealing his potions. What the hell? He has void salts. Oh boy. I love void salts now. I love me some void salts. Yoink. Yoink. Have a look around. But watch it. I buy and sell just about anything. Speak. Take his apple pie and the scaly foliota. That was an extremely successful oh, run. Deal in stolen goods. That's trouble I don't need. All right, that's it. Home, James. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, now this is going to be pretty hellacious getting back home. Obviously the only option we have is to fast or take the carriage to Falkreath and ride up from there. It's just a short ride. But Falkreath is an extremely hot landing zone. Did you keep your shields back? 
Who's a good slack? Oh yeah, that's right, okay. Last call for Windhelm. Um I think I'm gonna end the video here. Give this a think to think of anything else I might want to do in Windhelm be Windhelm before you take off. So, um I'm gonna call it anyways, mission accomplished. Merchant perk sell anything to anybody anybody. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you thought this video was really entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there, and see you next time for some more hardcore survival. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.